HIV AIDS. I did not stand here in Central, in Mary, and I cast HIV AIDS virus. I cast you at the perfect plan. I cast you in the, I cast you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I command you to leave the blood. I command the virus to leave your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. I ask the doctors to bring them because we are always examining them routinely every year, several times a year. And we found out that when Jesus heals, the HIV is deleted from the blood. Including my doctor, Professor Omroji. Of Egerton University. Well, we're here with Dr. Rahab. Thank you very much for your time. I know you've uh, been working and researching. You've been appointed by the government to do follow up on those cases. Uh, who we have here? We have the uh, Bedel Sirengo. Uh, a university student, the dear now, the dear university student, and he was enrolled at Ampath Clinic. The ID is 9014WB-4. He was enrolled on a clinic, uh, of a comprehensive care clinic for HIV. He's one of these cases. This is his case. This is his case. This is you. This is you. Yes. Yes? yes? Okay, great. Uh, tell me a little bit of the... How was your life? Uh, how you got AIDS and what were all the implications? How Can you tell us a little bit of that? Well, thank you. It all began with 
despising the ways of the Lord. Then I went into sexual immorality. Then when I was a first year, I just became violent, joined bad groups. Then all of a sudden, I began feeling like having malaria. And then when I went to the hospital, I was diagnosed with HIV AIDS. You can see here in the WHO staging, the World Health Organization stage, they said that too because at that time, what the doctor picked was that there was weight loss of uh, about 10% of his body, body weight. So that confirms from the records that yes, indeed, he had lost weight. After taking the medicine for a while, there was no, there was no, there, there, there was no improvement because it was reacting again with my body. Yes. The pain was getting worse. My bones were aching like fire. Mm -hmm. Then I say, what will I do? Because I began to contemplate suicide. Then one day, when I was just alone in a room, something came into my mind. That try God. Perhaps God can help you. So I began to seek help from the pastors. I remember going to many pastors, asking them, pray for me, I'm HIV positive. But most of them were not faithful. Immediately I could tell them, they begin to avoid me. And then it went on like that until one day, when I was just walking on a highway, then I saw a poster. On it, there was, there was, there, there was a prophet of God holding a, a, a wheelchair. Then I say, it, it captured my attention. Then I say, who is this? Then when I end and read there, it read the prophet of God, Dr. David Edward O'Wall. Then I began to follow him, to seek him, where he is. What I need, all kinds of sicknesses, even HIV AIDS. I didn't stand here in Central, in Yeri, and I cast HIV AIDS virus. I cast you a prophetic plan. I cast you again. I cast you. In the mighty name of Jesus, when I command you to leave the blood, I command the virus to leave your blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remember kneeling down and then positioned one of my hands on the radio. And when he was cursing, saying, I curse HIV AIDS and command to leave the blood of people i believed in my heart that indeed the lord had done it then immediately after finishing i remember feeling dizzy and sweat oozed out of my body little did i know that the lord had done something had healed me i can tell the world that god is faithful when i asked him to give me a second chance to live life on a different plane after repenting, reading Hosea chapter 6 verse 1, surely the Lord healed me and he gave me a second chance. And just as he promised Ezekiah that many years after giving him a second chance, even me, he has given me many years. I'm now healthy and I'm preaching this gospel that if people repent, even HIV, AIDS, it is nothing before the Lord. He will heal them. And what I can tell the world, the nation, the youths in the United States of America, university students there, is that let us repent from sexual sin. Let us repent from pornography, homosexuality, and the Lord will deliver us and set us free and finally we shall see the kingdom of god because time is over when we see jesus healing hiv aids surely he is coming there is a message there he is coming and the message is that let us repent from sexual sin it kills i've tested the bitter fruits of sexual immorality they are bitter they are bitter.
Karibu sana katika mkutano wa Bwana. Kwa majina unaitwa nani? Irene Bongera. Uko na umri wa miaka mingapi? 35. Umetoka wapi? Kisi. Una shida gani? Shida ya macho. Macho yana shida gani? Ayaoni. Macho yote mawili ama macho moja? Moja linaona tu moshi. Mm. Alafu lingine alioni kabisa. Gani alioni kabisa? Funga macho yenyewe naweza kuona. Unaona nini mbele yako? Hakuna. Unaona nini mbele yako? Shida hii ilianza lini? Tangu kuzaliwa. Umetembelea hospitali yoyote kwa sababu ya hali yako? Eh, ni hata ni shule nisomea. Hata kwa shule nilisomea kibos. Umetembelea hospitali gani? Nimetembelea kisi. Tena kile nimeenda. Hata sasa macho yalikuwa yananiambia wao ni chochote. Mm. Una matarajio gani kutoka kwa mkutano wa Bwana? Aniponye, nimtumikie. Na nini ni uwezi kufanya kwa sababu ya hali yako? Kusoma sio si nikasoma chochote. Mm. Sio si nikaangalia kitu, ni kuongoza tu. Sasa akiniponya, nikubiri njili. Asante. Karibu sana katika mkutano wa Bwana. Amen. Why have you stopped? Kwa nini umesimama? Wana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Amen. Mimi mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu mimi nilizaliwa nikiwa kipofu. I want to tell the Lord thank you because I was born blind. Receive their healing. Then I, I felt a lot of cold. And 
and then the left eye, the, the right eye, I started to see some light because I was not able to see anything even if it's small. Because they brought me here while holding me on by the hand. But when Pastor Stella came, she started showing me things that she realized that I can see. Sasa, umeona. Chukua. Chukua. Ukoza kuniwona ni guza. Give me a cold soda. But yes, soda baridi. This is incredible. Hii ya shangaza. It is mighty. Ni kubwa. And mighty. Na kubwa. And mighty. Na kubwa. Give me a cold fanta. Ni patie fanta baridi. Thank you. Asante. Thank you, son. This is lovely. Asante, man. Give me a cold fanta. The way she is drinking, it is like she has gone through so much. Okay, tafuta kiti. Tafuta kiti. Okay, lepata uketi. Okay, pata kiti uketi.
Amen. Kwa majina unaitwa nani? Kwa majina naitwa Nzomu haya Ivona. Niko Burundi yani. Niko wa Burundi natoka kwa kampu ya Nakivale Isingiro District Mbarara kwa ichi ya Uganda. Paka kuu ya magonjwa ya mingi sana hata mwili yote ikakuwa mbaya. Hiyo shida yako ya miguu iko eh. kwa mguu mmoja ama zote mbili? Mifupa yote iko kama vile ilisha katika tangu 93 ilisha kavimba. Eh. Haina nguvu inadegea. Eh. Mighty Father, Baba Mku, as we begin this mighty, mighty visitation of Yahweh, the visitation of the Lord God. Father, now, Baba Sasa, at this hour, katika sahi, I ask you to pour the blood of Jesus everywhere here. And set your people free Na ukawaweke watu wako huru By the power of the blood Kwa nguvu za damo The blood of Jesus Damu ya Yesu And I ask you my father Na nakuuliza babangu Right now Sasa hivi To begin strengthening crippled legs Uka anze kuiti ya nguvu migu ya biwete And release them to begin jumping and running and walking Na uka waachilie wa anze kukimbia na kutembea Balancing na kujizawazisha for the first time kwa mara ya kwanza kabisa and falling na kuanguka getting up again kusimama tena balancing na kujizawazisha and falling na kuanguka getting up again kusimama tena and learning to stabilize na kujifunza kujizawazisha until they walk and run hadi watembee na kukimbia sasa paralytics get up spinal cord injuries every disease under the sun i have commanded you heal mia kwa nyiti za mgongo kila ugonjwa it is finished. Everybody now receive your healing everywhere.
pole 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 slowly just slowly my daughter come come binti wangu choko shika chuma hold the metal shika chuma hold the metal shika chuma hold the metal shika chuma Slowly, slowly, slowly. Pole, 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 pole. From Uganda. Kutoka Uganda. And God remembered us. Na Mungu akakutia. He remembered us. Nobody will ever talk again. Ha. Just keep walking. Wewe endelea kutembea. Keep on walking. We are 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 walking. Jesus is powerful. Yes.
Hallelujah. Na wasalimu katika jina la Yesu wapendwa wa Mungu. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Nzomu haya Ivone. Naishi kwa kampu ya Nakivale Isingiro District. Nashukuru Mungu kwa kuwa aliniponya nilikuwa mlemavu. Mimi nilikuwa pararaisi. Mimi nilikuwa na ugua asma. Mimi nilikuwa na ugua sukari. Mimi nilikuwa na ugua kansa. Mimi nilikuwa na ugua fistula. Mimi nilikuwa na ugua fistula veziko vaginale. Nilizunguka madaktari na madaktari, maospito na maospito. Pote wa nilikosa suluhisho. Walinambia siwezi kupona. Na sasa nilikuwa nikimaliza miaka 26 tangu 93 sitembei naishi kwa maospito mpaka nikafikia kiwango cha kupewa wheelchair na mapampa kufika hadi saa hii nilikuwa nikitumia mapampa na wheelchair Nilitumainia Mungu mpaka nikafikia nika huko na kuru menengai nikakutana na manabii wawili wa Mungu wakaniponya wakaniombea nikaponya bila pesa yoyote Sasa yoyote Yesu amemaliza nimeiwacha kwa mudima kule menengai na kuru nimeacha pampa nimeacha wheelchair sasa mnaona saa hii niko mzima na luka luka nikishangilia. Hakuna maajabu ya Mungu. Haleluya.